All right, so now I'm going to show you something that's going to save you a lot of time as well. And uh, it's interesting when I'm working with people that uh, what we tend to do is we will do something and then we just keep repeating that task and it's not necessarily the most uh, cost effective or time effective uh, way to do something but it's just how we do stuff. So for example what I'll see is somebody will use they'll have a box and so say they'll do something like this we've got a number of boxes on a screen and um, we'll just move that up here so they've got a number of boxes on the screen they'll come in here and they'll say, oh, I want to format this box, so I'm going to add a style on there, and then I've got a drop shadow, and then I'm going to add a reflection effect. And so they say, oh, I like that. That looks really good. I'm going to apply that uh, to this shape, too. So and then they go up here, and then they do the same thing, uh, and then they go through this whole process. Well, that becomes time-consuming, especially if you have, you know, 40 slides and you have all these shapes and you decide, oh, I want all my shapes to look a certain way. Um, so that becomes really time consuming to have to modify all those shapes. So this is where the Format Painter tool comes in handy. So what you can do is you click on an object where you have certain formatting and you want to apply that to other objects. So you click on that and you notice this little paintbrush tool. So if I double click on it, I can then change the format of objects until I deselect the formatting toolbar. So I can click here, click here, click there, and um, in uh, those simple mouse clicks I've got the same formatting applied across the board. I can do the same thing here with text. So say so I've got two pieces of text here. I realize I want to take this text and I want to change uh, the font. I want to make it um, green and I want to I don't know add a bevel to it I don't know if the bevel shows up so um, I'll just add a shadow to it so I've got it green shadow all that stuff so what I can do is I can select that select formatting apply it to this text and that quickly this text has been formatted as well so you can format objects and you can format text it makes it a lot easier when you're doing your work you don't have to worry about formatting every single thing. So you use boxes and shapes and all that. Apply. Um, don't worry about applying all your design effects. Get everything lined up right. Uh, put placeholder content. You know, you can do the same thing with an image. So say we've got an image here, and I'm going to apply uh, drop shadow on this image, and then I want to do the same thing on, on other images that I add on the screen. So let me delete this here. So I want to apply uh, drop shadows on other images that I have on the screen as well. So I can do that, select my formatting, double click. And as you can see, now I've got my drop shadow. So uh, you don't need to worry about spending a lot of time up front formatting and doing all of that. Just put placeholder content in places where you want to put the content or objects or whatever it is. And then later when you know when you're done and then you know what your look is going to be, then go in and format and then apply the format painter across all those objects and it'll uh, save you a lot of time in production.